Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid-Journey version 5 tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to take wedding photos and make them awesome. We're going to turn them into all sorts of different styles ranging from illustrators to photographers to animators to anime to cartoons to blacklight everything. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here's the original shot here. I've got this nice couple here. They're kind of facing towards the camera so you can see their faces. That's why I selected this shot. And then presto, I turned it into all sorts of cool stuff. So this is like an art deco movement. This is a cross-eyed animator type style, a Pixar style. We got anime, kawaii art deco. This is a bobblehead style. This is a blacklight backlit type style. And if we go through a little more here, I've got a few more here. So I've got, uh, this is the 1910s fashion. So they just got on the Titanic. This is a Miles Aldred photog photograph so in a in a different or specific photographer style if that's your thing there's another version here this is a sur surrealistic style and it just goes on and on i believe this one's kawaii and this is a hippie style and even some other really fun ones here i've got solar punk style here this one's really cool and uh we got synth wave here and it just it just list goes on and on so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to show you how i achieve these styles I'm going to, I have all of the styles, including the words that I use. So the entire prompt here, I'm going to copy and put that in my description. So you guys can just copy and paste them and use them directly or modify them as you see fit. I'm also going to show you how to create different variations. So if you, if you punch in a prompt and you get a cool image, but it's not quite right, I'll show you how to fix up and, and, and make adjustments. And we're going to talk about image weights and text weights, and then we're going to wrap it all up. So let's get started. First step, grab the image you want to work with. I'm going to go into my finder, and I'm going to take this one here. This is an image I got off Pexels. And Pexels is a free website. I'll put it up right here, actually, while I got you. Yeah. Pexels is right here. It's a free site. It has all sorts of free stock photos. And then I just found one of two people getting married. So that's all there is to it. I'll put a link in the description below. So there we go. I drag and drop the image in and there it goes. I hit enter. Now the next step is I'm going to go right click on this image and I'm going to copy that link. Getting that link is very important. Now let's get to work. All you need to do to start off is go forward slash imagine space and then I'm going to hit command V on a Mac Control V on a PC, so we're pasting in that link that we just saved. So now I'm just gonna go, or we just copied part of me. Now I'm gonna hit space bar, and this is the fun part. Now I can basically say, hey, what kind of image do I want? Here are some that I found that worked out quite nicely. One of my favorites, I guess here would be, let's go with, they're all really good, but um, let's go with art. Now let's go with solar punk. So we're going to go, actually, that's a little bit too complicated to start with. We're going to go with the animation. So we're going to go animation. I'm just going to copy that in. So I just spacebar animation. And then I hit enter. And literally, that's all there is to it. I'm going to come back when it's done. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you how to make alterations and changes to it in case the images aren't quite where you want them to be. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here. here remember, here's the original image. And here's the basic prompt animation. And if we take a look at this... This one's here is pretty good, and this one is not too bad, but where the hell did that dog come from? Um, so all in all, not too bad. This one looks a little bit too much Disney-ish. But here we go. Let's say we like the top one here. So if you like it as is, just click on U1, and it will go ahead and create an upscaled version. And then you can grab this. So I'm just going to click on the image. If this is what I wanted, I will right-click on it, and then I'll just save it. And then that's it. I'll save it to my desktop or wherever you want to save it. So that means I have the image. That said, maybe you like the first one, but you want to make variations for it. And this is where I'm going to show you some more advanced stuff. So if you click on V1 here, now you're going to see it's basically the prompt is this. It opens up the remix prompt option, and it says this is basically the path to the image. So input image, animation, version 5. But let's say I don't, maybe I want something else in it. So maybe, I don't know, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Watch this. I'm going to do comma, and then I'm going to go dash dash IW space 2.0. What this is doing is this is telling it that I want the same look here, but I'm giving the image weight a 2.0. So the images, images and the image weight in uh, Mid Journey version 5 goes up to 2. So if you give it the maximum of 2, that means that you want the original image to be the strongest and the most important part of the remix or of the variation. So if I click submit on that, now I'm going to get a new version and it's going to be more 
to the original image where if I don't put this in here, it would be, it would give Midjourney a little bit more latitude to make some decisions. So I'm going to click submit on this and then watch this. When I come back, I'll show you the differences. All right, welcome back. So I use the image weight of 2.0. And then when I open this up here, it just, the characters, at least in theory, are supposed to adhere a little bit more to the original image. So if I look at the original image right here, we've got this dark haired fella here with this pretty blonde haired lady right here. And then we go down here and we look at it and we've got, okay, dark haired fella, attractive blonde lady, similar hairstyles, especially this one here on the bottom right, Presto. I would click on U4 and let's say that's the one I want to keep. Now, I'm going to show you another more advanced technique if you want to go a little further. We're going to do another version. I'm going to do Imagine. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and prompt in the uh, copy. I'm going to copy the link here. And I want to paste that in. So the prompt is, first part of the prompt is the link to that image. And now I'm going to go up here and grab another style. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and select one with, let's see, let's go with the solar punk style. This one here, solar punk style. So I'm going to go ahead, I hit the space bar, and then I'm going to go command V. And you'll see when you read it here, it says solar punk style. And then it goes colon, colon, five. What that colon colon means is I'm giving it a prompt weight or a text weight of five. Normally, it's set to one. And that means everything in the image is kind of just, you know, right out of the box. Everything gets an equal, uh, uh, equal weight. But if I set it to five, that means that I'm saying that I want the solar punk style to be more valued or weighed heavier than the actual it would normally get if I didn't put this in there. So I'm giving it a five times weight. When I hit enter on that, I'm going to come back and show you what we got. And then finally, I'll show you the resources and the reference list where you can try out all these different styles and just go absolute ham. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, welcome back. So with the solar punk style weighted so heavily, Look at these really cool images here. Like this is pretty believable stuff. These guys look like they're dressed up and they're playing the part. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is I'm gonna go imagine, I'll do it one more time. And here's another example. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take the image. I'm gonna copy the links. So I'll just go back here, right click, copy link, go down, prompt, paste that in. And now watch this though. I'm gonna go up to my list of prompts here. And here's one uh, that I like in the style of, in this case, let's go with uh, in the, Afrimov. This is a photographer in the style of Leonid, Leonid Afrimov. Now, watch this. I just copy that in and I just hit in the style of Leonid Afrimov. And while I hit that, so I'm just basically saying, hey, use this image, but make it in that photographer's style. I'm going to quickly show, flip over here to Chrome and I'm going to take you to midlibrary.io. And over here, you'll see all sorts of stuff. So if you go to the main page here, you can click on like all these different options. One of the ones I like, I'll just click on all styles. And then underneath all styles, look at this, all of them here. You've, if there's anything here you like, like I used 1910s fashion, you just hover over the wording here. And you'll see that little green little plus sign. That means you copied it. So you can just left click and copy it. So if I want 1910s fashion or do I want 3D graffiti or I mean all of them. There's just pages and pages of different styles. I like this one here. Uh, again, you can go and you can actually go a little further. So if you wanted to, you know, break it down by uh, designers, fashion designers, illustrators if you want like a cartoony style and you want them to look like villains out of batman you would click on neil adams or in the style of neil adams if you want them to look like i don't know let's go with some photographers oh maybe that's not going to work let's go back here if i want to go to photographers i can go ahead and say hey i really like the this photographer here elsa belita i would just hover over that i would copy it i would go back into discord and it's this simple imagine and then we take the prompt and we would just go in the style of Elsa Bleda. So I would put all of that in just like we did before. And that would be the end of it. Okay, so I'm going to wait for this to load. I'm going to come back and then we're going to wrap it all up. All right, welcome back. So here we go. We did this in the style of Leonid Afrimov. And he's a very popular photographer. And you can see here that it's got this very cool oranges and red background sky stuff like that that was obviously not in the original shot and of course if we wanted to up or upscale it we would just select one of them maybe u4 i like that one and then bang there we go we've got it right click save image and we have a copy of it now just keep in mind that all of this stuff is like so for everything you saw here there's a hundred styles that i did not go over 
This list here of the styles and the wording is going to be in the description below. The websites that I used here, the mid library is going to be in the description below. So I'm going to link to all of this. And if you get stuck or if you have any questions or if it's not working correctly, just leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you out and work through it. Thanks for watching this video. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.